Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn uh, the properties of set operations, union, intersection, and complement. Well, um, first thing to know is that when you're doing intersection or um, complement uh, union, the order doesn't matter. That is called commutativity. of uh, union and intersection. In other words, the definition of intersection and the union doesn't refer to which one is the first one, which one is the second one, yes? So it's a symmetric, so if you do union either way, you will get the same thing. If you do intersection, you will get the same thing. The second property uh, is called associativity. It says that if you're working with intersections, so if you have, oops, um, if you have A intersect B, then you get a new set, and then you can intersect that one with the third um, set, yes? This will be the same as if we do first find the intersection of the second one and the third one, and then find the intersection of of the result with the A. And there is a union version. So A, um, union, you can do first B and C and then. So something that you have to know is this is when both of the operations are the same thing. Either both of them are union or both of them are mm, uh, <coughs> uh, intersection. The third property that we will have, we will uh, discuss a little bit more on this, is called distributivity. The names are not important. What is important is that how to work with these, these things. So it says that if you have uh, two things, uh, two sets like B and C, union and then find an intersection of that with a this result in this case the intersection distributes over the union so it means that we have to first do a un, uh, a intersection b and then the result union a intersection with C. It's like, you remember that if you have A multiplied to B plus C, what you do, you do first multiply these ones and add them. Yes, yeah, so AB plus AC. That's exactly the same property for the numbers uh, that's called uh, distributivity of the numbers. But now here we have for the union and intersection. Okay, uh, and the same story goes the other way. So if we have this first intersection and then union again, this will distribute on uh, union will distribute on the intersection. So it will be a union B, then find the intersection and then a union C. Here, what you have to note the difference between the associativity and distributivity is important. Why? Because you see in the first one, in the associativity, both of the operations are the same thing. Either both of them are intersection or union. But in the second one, the, the two operations are different. And what it has for us is saying that if you have same operations, then brackets doesn't matter. So does brackets does not change anything when they are the same. But in the uh, other side, on the uh, distributivity, it's absolutely important to have brackets are crucial. So that's, that's what it says. Okay. And... Um, then time is for the uh, complement. 
the, the complement um, has this property that if you find complement of uh, complement, you will get back to A itself. So if, if you apply complement first, it will go to the A complement outside of A. And then if you apply complement again, outside of outside of A is inside A. So that's what it has there. Okay. And very last property, which is uh, which has a name on it, well, uh, we won't use in the in class, but it's called uh, the Morgan's law. The name is not important. Any of these not names, this, these are not important. Um, what it says is that okay, what if I have intersection, and then find the complement. In that case, the De Morgan's law says that well, that complement will go down onto the sets, but if it is intersection, you have to change it to union. And if it is union, then well, first of all, again, the complements will go down to the a and C, A and B, but then the union would change to the intersection. Well, we won't cover the proofs of these uh, properties, uh, but one nice way that uh, the, your textbook does is that use Venn diagrams to prove these, these facts. I uh, highly recommend that you check the textbook for those proofs. Just get a good uh, sense of what does these um, or how one can prove these equalities. Okay. Uh, let me do one example before we move, uh, we finish the video. Um, use the properties of set operations to show that. Um, okay, so let me go one by one. For the first one, it says that A complement intersection B and then complement. What does that give us? Okay, we know that the De Morgan's law says that okay, this complement will go inside. So we will have A complement complement. That's the first one, then complement of that. And then the second one complement. Then this is intersection. De Morgan's law says that you have to turn it to you. Okay. And then you notice that A complement, complement, complement of the complement is the set itself. So this is what we have on the right hand side. So that is proved. How about this one? A union B uh, complement intersects C complement. First, we apply the De Morgan's law, then we apply go there. So this will be A complement. B complement, then this union will turn into the intersection. We are still inside the bracket, then intersection C complement. But we notice that all both of the operations are the same, so we can apply the associativity and write A complement, intersection B complement, intersect C complement. Okay. Look at this guy here. The De Morgan's law says that B union C then complement is equal to that. Let's just put that one there. So it will be A C intersection. Instead of this piece here, I will write B union C complement. And that's what we have on the right hand side. So you have to not only know the operations, you have to know properties and a little bit of being able to work with these properties.